know, it seems to me that many of us Eagle fans, including myself, may need to accept the reality. And this is a gut-gut feeling that I've had the last few days, and it's got bigger and bigger and bigger. But we need to accept the reality that if Jalen Rager doesn't get traded, that we, we just may, we just may see this man show up and actually perform this year. Here and hope everybody's having a great day. Hope you guys are doing well. Hope you're hanging in there. So the Eagles had their 10th practice today. And it was Jalen Hurts' absolute best performance. Nobody can deny it. Not even the haters. Now, we're going to get into it in a second. But before we do that, uh, if you like the content and you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that like. More importantly, make sure to subscribe for Eagles daily content every day. NFL content every day. We got the preseason, game one of the preseason, this Friday. We will be streaming it. You don't want to miss it. It's going to be a lot of fun. And if you've been subscribed for a while, let me thank you for all the support you give to me. It truly means a lot. And uh, as Mark Holmes says, without you, this couldn't happen. But in all seriousness, thank you. Just double check, though. Double, double moonwalk check. Make sure you're still subscribed because YouTube acts... Uh, all goofy, unsubscribing people. I don't know if it's the algorithm. I don't know what the hell it is. Just, if you could double check, that'd be great. Thank you so much. Now, interesting day today at practice. And and because of a couple things, okay? There are a couple things that stood out to me that I want to talk about, okay? But before we, we get into that, let's talk about this injury report, okay? Uh, according to Jeff McClain, Pound Eagles practice report will not practice. Uh, and these are the guys that didn't practice. Grant Calcaterra, saying his name wrong, hamstring. LaRaven Clark, hamstring. Kenneth Gainwell, hip. Anthony Harris, tooth. Did he say really tooth? Did he just really say tooth? What, what you can't catch a football with tooth? He might, oh, my God, that's that's a new one. John Hyde, maybe he had, maybe he had like a, de you know, maybe he had to go to the dentist or something. I don't know. Root canal, yes. I, I don't know. John Hightower, groin. Jason Kelsey, elbow. Jimmy Moreland, ankle. Boston Scott, concussion. Devontae Smith, groin. And the list keeps going. Jaquaski Tart, personal reasons. Maybe he's the dentist. I don't know. Maybe he was doing a dental procedure for Anthony Harris. That was his personal reason. Carrie Vincent, groin. Greg Ward, toe. Carrick Wheatfall, hamstring. Limited and practiced some, and did some drills today was Andre Dillard and one Jordan Mulata. So those guys, those guys are, are slowly coming back, and that's great. Now we got to say this: Nick Sirianni today announced uh, kind of what the plan is for the starters week one in preseason, and I, I assume that he's going to follow the same roadmap he followed. Uh, last year in preseason. If you remember correctly, uh, last year we had the starters played like, what, one or two series, then they were out. Jalen Hurts was supposed to play in that game too, got sick, went to the hospital, didn't play the rest of preseason. So what the plan is um, tomorrow or Friday, which is two days, the game is in two days, yo, two days, two days before Dominance begins. I can't wait. I can't wait to that game. I can't wait for the preseason. You know what happens preseason, right? You go you go out in preseason right before the game. You're all hyped. Here are the Eagles. You see them. They're out there in their uniform and their helmets. And you're thinking to yourself, we've got this for like the next five months every week. It's going to be great. And then preseason starts. Starters play like one series. Then they come out. And then all of a sudden you're like... Uh, preseason needs to end. When is this going to end? We need the regular season to get here. And then you have to wait like three three more games. So, it, it, you know, preseason is what it is. But the Eagles will start their starters. I'm assuming the ones that aren't on the injury report. They're going to start them uh, for one or two series. Uh, and then we'll see what they do next week. Me and I said this many times before. I think with only three preseason games, which is usually what players play in in the old preseason, right? It, when you had four games, it would be 
Week one would be, you know, a series or two. Week two would be uh, like a quarter or, or into the second quarter. Week three would be the dress rehearsal where you act like it's a real game. You come out and they play into the third quarter. And then that fourth week, you would sit your starters. This, this new schedule, uh, you know, you don't get as much time. So I think that in the first game, instead of doing one to two series, you need to treat it like the second game of the way it used to be. So I would have liked to see them play a whole quarter. I would have liked to see the starters play a whole quarter. But I, I can't. I can't argue with it. I mean, I understand the worst thing that you that can happen is have major injuries in preseason. It, it could destroy season. So I, I totally get it, okay? But it'll be interesting to see uh, what the Eagles, uh, you know, how, how they look. I, I just can't wait. And there's a lot of battles, uh, and we'll get into uh, in tomorrow's video, but there's a lot of battles I want to see that have nothing to do with the starters, so it'll be interesting. Now, today in practice, uh, Jalen Hurts had a big day, okay? Uh, a big day, in, and keep that in context, okay, for practice, okay? He had his best day of practice. He made some, some great throws. They really were working and emphasizing the deep ball today. Uh, he, he had a big play, uh, Touchdown throw to A.J. Brown on 7-on-7. On seven. He hit him on a 30-yard uh, pass in the corner end zone. Uh, Jalen Hurts had had a great, uh, great practice. Probably, as many people said, uh, his best practice. Uh, A.J. Brown just made a great catch with Bradbury draped all over him. He talked yesterday about late hands, and this was a perfect example. Yeah, for those that didn't see um, maybe the press conference, A.J. Brown was talking about you know, late hands where, you know, basically you know where the ball's going to go, you you know, you know where it's coming, but you don't want to give it away to the corner too soon. So you you want to have your hands come in at the last second kind of catch it. You know, us big hand mullumpers know all about that. I got late hands all the time. You know what I'm saying? I'm always late. What are you going to do? But but I get the job done. You know what I mean? That, that's why I'm still married. What can I say? Uh, Jalen Hurts just threw a 30-yard fade to A.J. Brown for a touchdown. Good ball placement with Bradbury covering him. Follows it up with another good pass to Zach Pascal. You know, the, the one thing that's interesting, too, is that um, every time we hear about Bradbury giving up a touchdown, he's got good coverage. He's got good coverage. You saw it in, in the uh, open practice where Bradbury had good coverage. It was just a great pass, you know. So um, Jalen Hurts, yeah, great, great. Uh, day. So I want I want to bring this up real quickly about Jalen Hurts. Now the one thing that I haven't shown you guys is is you know when people keep track of uh, Jalen Hurts's passing numbers in practice. I think that's uh, I think that's like overboard. I I don't think it really gives you much of anything. Okay, um, but for all the complaining and everything we've heard about how bad. Jalen Hurts has looked by some people, right? Because some people say he looks okay. Other people say he looks bad. Um, but but l listen to this. Jalen Hurts training camp stats through 10 practices. 111 out of 162, 68%, 10 touchdowns, 4 interceptions. Okay? And then they said Wednesday's practice was a definite step in the right direction. So the guy's throwing 68%, right? Uh throughout training camp, and he's got 10 touchdowns and 4 interceptions, yet they act like the guy has is, is been bad, he's been horrible, he's 68% completion percentage, and then they're going to say, uh, he's been horrible, he's not the guy, all this kind of stuff, um, I don't know, that's why I don't think those numbers really mean a lot to me, they're overblown, I don't really worry about them, because... It's just crazy. And then here's the Jalen Hurts uh, Daily Stock Report tracker. I like this one. Like I'm playing stocks or something. Brandon Lee Gowton, he does this every day. Day one, he had even. Day two, he had down. Day three, down. Day four, even. Day five, up. Now, remember, this is a guy that has been statistically, statistical-wise, has, has looked like he's been pretty good according to what people are keeping track of. Day five, up. Day six, down. Day 7 even, day 8 up, day 9 even, day 10 up. So, today was Jalen Hurts' big update. But I will say this. If you look 
from his last down day, if 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 this thing means anything at all, which I I don't put a lot of stock in, I'm only showing you for a reference. But day seven is even, then day eight is up, then even, then up. It looks like, according to this, Jalen Hurts is trending up. He's playing his best. So buy stock now. Go buy buy you know buy as much. Uh, prop bets as you can on Jalen Hurts because by what this is telling us, it's going to be fantastic. You know, um, I don't know. I, I think these things, like I said, keeping track of, of numbers and passing game, uh, you know, doing training camp and, and stock up or down, I just think it's so hard to gauge anything from that in reality because it's practice. You know what I'm saying? But I, I do think it is, it is, I do think, I, I do get a, a laugh out of it though. I do think it's kind of funny, um, only because, like I said, uh, the guy, you, one day you can have a practice where he's like, he was 17-20 for four touchdowns, zero interceptions. Jalen Hurts didn't have a good day, and you're like, what? I, 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 that, that usually implies he had a good day, you know? Anyways, um, so the Eagles, uh, one thing we got to talk about also, they, they brought in a running back to work out. DeAndre Torrey, um, University of North Texas. They have him listed here. I, I saw 5'9", and now I'm seeing 5'7", weight 200 pounds. Um, don't know much about the kid, in, in all honesty. I, I, what I can tell you is that the Eagles need a running back. They need another running back. Now you're saying, well, they got Miles Boscott. They don't need a running well, back. What I'm saying is they need another body uh, at running back. They need another back in there. Most teams have between seven and eight running backs. The Eagles have, what, five? And to me, none of them, none of them are, are, are complimentary enough to Miles Sanders. You don't have that big back. You don't have that short yardage back. And, and I, think, I think that's an issue, you know. So um, I, I wouldn't be surprised at some point you're going to see Jordan Howard come back. Um, also today, Jalen Rager met with the media for the first time, I think they said since January, okay? And and he said a few things that that I kind of like, that I kind of like. Uh, so it says, Jalen Rager met with the media for the first time when uh, told Sirianni said he'll have to get used to three touches per game instead of 11 at TCO, TCU. He said, there'll be three damn good ones then, pound eagles. So... I, Rager is saying that when he touches a ball, good things are going to happen. Who the hell is this guy? Jalen Rager is is got a world of confidence right now. He ain't playing. He's in shape. And maybe, just maybe, we're going to have to accept the reality that this guy could have a good year. I mean, in truthfulness, and I know some of you Eagle fans have, but people like me, I'm going to be honest, People like me, it never crossed my mind that this man could have a good year. It's never crossed my mind. But maybe, maybe he will. And if the Eagles don't trade him, because it's not guaranteed, uh, maybe we'll be surprised. I want Rager to go out and, throw and catch, you know, 80-something balls, 100, uh, you know, 1,800 yards, five times. Go have a great year. Go, have a, go kill it, man. I would love it, you know. Hard to imagine but Jalen Jalen Rager may just be setting up for a great year. It also could be the psy up of psy ups by Howie Roseman. Howie Vision, we're all living in it, and he is building this man's uh, trade value at a tremendous rate. I think teams, uh, I think teams should start to hire guys, and maybe they already have them, but I think they should have hire guys who whole job is to build up guys' trade value. To build it up. Or, if it's on another team, get things out there to bring it down. You know? But, uh, Jalen Rager, man, after that one day, after that one day, uh, all of a sudden, Jalen Rager goes out and is, is, is having a great camp. He's got to have a big preseason game. If Jalen Rager goes out and has a big preseason game, his trade value is going to even more. It's going to be great. Uh, one other thing I want to talk to you guys about today. 
We have to do our daily Jordan Davis update. This is like an everyday thing with Jordan Davis. But we have to talk about Jordan Davis. Um, actually, there's one other thing I want to talk to you about Jordan, after Jordan Davis. But Jordan Davis did a press conference today. So impressive, okay? You you can tell when a guy has it. He just got He just has it, right? You look at me, you go, 3,500, he's just got it. He looks like Denzel White. He's got it. Jordan Davis just has it. He, he has that it factor. He, he just does, okay? And um, you can tell by the way he talks. You can tell by the way he talks about himself and the way he talks about his, his teammates, right? And I, I thought this was such an interesting comment. Uh, so Jordan Davis in his press conference said this. Jordan Davis said he hates that his reps against Jurgens that went viral from Sunday night at the link. People see one play, and they don't see Cam blocking me at practice. Cam is a good player, and iron is sharpening iron pound eagles. So this man is humble enough after basically taking taking uh, Cam Jurgens on, on a merry-go-round ride, right? I mean, he's just throwing him around like nothing, okay? It, was like, it looked like the moon jump. <laughs> he's just picking him up. It was like the moon jump. Um, to come back... Be that humble where he says he doesn't like that because it makes his teammate look bad. That's a hell of a player you got right there, man. That's a hell of a player. That's the mindset that you need. There's a lot of guys that I can think of who were first-round picks, high picks. They would have taken any credit they can because they're not confident in themselves. They need that pat on the back. This man doesn't. This man is thinking about his team. He's glad to be here. He's going to do whatever it takes. And he's, oh, by the way, in tremendous shape. Jordan Davis is already paying off dividends, man. A lot of these guys, a lot of these guys uh, are ready to go. This is going to be, I think, a very special team this year. But I was very, very, um, I was very impressed by reading that with Jordan Davis. I, I thought that was just the coolest thing ever, right? The, the other thing I want to talk about, there's no what to I guy. To that guy. To I guy. I don't know how to say his name. I can never say his name. We'll just say Noah. Tight end, number two is a battle. We'll just say Noah to that guy is is having uh, a really good last few days. Made a nice one handed catch today. Was very beautiful. And uh, we need, and uh, I, I've been saying this for like a month and a half, you, we still need somebody to be that tight end number two. Uh, if Rodgers can do it and he's healthy, fine. But you still need somebody. Tyree Jackson's got to get stashed. Stall, maybe he's the guy. But this kid Noah, if he, if he can come along and keep putting back-to-back -back good uh, practices together, let's see what he does in training camp. Uh, but that's a good sign. Uh, like I said, the Eagles will have... Um, their starters play the first two series, one or two series. Uh, should be interesting. It'll be very vanilla, and we'll be wishing for more. But at least we'll get some football in two days. Uh, should be back later. With that said, take care. Talk to you later, of course. Don't be a dingbat. It's how we vision. We're all just living in it. So we just got finished ordering Mark Holmes his Jordan Davis jersey. It is going to be coming to his house soon. I don't know how long it's going to take the ship, but it will be there. Mark Holmes will put his Eagles jersey on Jordan Davis, who he really wanted, and it's going to be fantastic. And, hey, listen, you, you, you just got to... Got to join the good guys right now, you know? Cowboys out there sacrificing chickens, uh, destroying the world. And uh, with that super satanic star, you got Jerry Jones, who, by the way, it's his birthday today. I don't know if you guys know. It's Jerry Jones' birthday. I want to wish him uh, a happy birthday. He is now 817 years old, so happy birthday to him. But uh, hopefully, Mark Holmes will get that Jordan Davis jersey in time to put on for one of these preseason games. With that said... Denzel Washington, out.